Hello everyone, my name is Talal and you are watching Popcorn and Soda, the show where we discuss all things movies, pop culture, and so much more. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for making me a small part of your day. Saltburn. Where do I begin with the movie Saltburn? One thing I will say right off the bat, this hands down is my favorite movie of the year. There is just magic in this movie, unlike anything I've seen this year. And <laughs> I literally don't even know where to begin. I'm this close from saying that this might actually be one of my all-time favorite movies. And I do not take that lightly because I have a very small list of movies that mean very, they mean very much to me. And they're very close to my heart. And this movie is one that may actually crack that list. Yeah, bonkers. That is what I will say, but in all the right ways. So, Saltburn, what is this movie about? Who's behind the camera making these films? Who's the cast? What do I like so much about it? Let's get started. So, number one, right off the bat, I want to give a big shout out to director Emerald Fennell. Academy Award nominated Emerald Fennell, who just creates movie magic. And one thing that I love about her direction and style is that this movie has got so much of it. Not just the way she has this movie shot, but more importantly, just like the fashion of it, the way the settings look, the way the mood of the story is created. It's technically a period piece, right? It's, it's set in 2006, which, wow, <laughs> I was in starting high school at the time. And I don't even know if I was in high school at the time. Point being, I love this movie and I think so will you. Movie is about a bunch of kids who are first year in Oxford and it revolves around the character of Oliver, played by the immensely talented Barry Keoghan, who I, I will definitely get into more about his uh, performance in this movie, who is this loner kind of guy who has pretty much no friends and he's just trying to figure out his way in life as most young adults are who are entering in university that is where he encounters felix who is played by the ever so talented and dashingly good looking mr jacob alordi this movie is a friendship movie it's about love it's about family it's about obsession it's about like erotic forbidden love. But at the end of it, at the core of this movie, something that connected so well with me is that it's a movie about humans and it's a movie about figuring out who you really are. So as the movie progresses, you know, Jacob Elordi's character, Felix, who comes from this very posh, super rich, wealthy family. He starts becoming friends with Barry Keoghan's character of Oliver and they start finding commonalities between their lives and it all revolves around the summer in which Felix invites Oliver to come stay at his family's home in Saltburn. That is where the magic ensues and that is where the craziness of this film begins. Do you guys know I love movie trailers because I think a movie trailer once done correct can really show you like the window into what the film is about. And when you watch the trailer for Saltburn, there is just so many different vibes that I got from this film. You know, right off the bat, you get get out vibes where it's OK, this family is kind of a little kooky, like what's going on? There's definitely something going on underneath the facade of this massive mansion, their house their money there's definitely something going on and then you see a character like oliver played by barry keoghan who you want to root for almost you relate to that character because at the end of the day as human beings we all have self-doubt we all want to be accepted we all want to make friends and i think the trailer does set that up very well where i was so intrigued and i just love that trailer so much because it, it hooked me right in and as you watch the movie, it's like this movie is like the perfect onion. <laughs> That's how I describe it, because there's so many different layers to this movie within the first act, the second and the third. And it completely unravels 
layer by layer to a point where it is one of the most mind F movies I've ever watched. And I am a sucker for these thriller kinds of movies where there's always more to the movie than what actually seems and more to the characters than what actually seems. And where you start off in the beginning of the film to where you end off at the end, you go on a journey and it's... (laughs) Without getting into spoilers, it is quite possibly the most craziest, kookiest... (laughs) Dare I say twist that I've seen in like any movie in a long, long time. So... One of the main reasons why this movie sticks out to me so much and why I truly say it's my favorite movie of the year is because I'm a sucker for thrillers and I'm a sucker for psychological thrillers that really explores the human psyche. So a movie like this, it just checks off all the boxes for me. And you guys know me, during my reviews, I always provide films that are things that if you liked, you would like this. So some sort of a base. And for me, a movie like Saltburn, it falls under that category of films almost like uh, Talented Mr. Ripley, One Hour Photo, and, you know, kind of even Gone Girl vibes. And of course, Get Out, because this movie is just plain awesome. It keeps you on the edge of your seat. And in the theater that I watch this in, (laughs) some of the scenes at how crazy this film gets, you would just have people just howling in the theater and they were all like covering their eyes and they were all like what the f am i watching and that is a big credit to not only just emerald but the cast because the cast of this film is by far one of the biggest strengths of this film if not the biggest strength so of course you have the leads in barry keoghan and jacob alority who play oliver and felix but then you are immensed put into this film that has so many amazing great supporting characters and supporting cast you have roseman pike richard e grant allison oliver uh archie there's it's the list goes on and on and that is why i love this film because every character has a moment to shine and every character pretty much is a well fleshed out character and They're so well flushed out that you notice that all of these people have major problems. And all of these people are not really who they seem to be. But that's the magic of a film like this that has so many twists and turns. I gotta talk about this because I am a big, big lover of fashion. It's something I've grown up loving. And this movie, the fashion and style that Emerald Fennell captures, the 2006 vibe, spot on. Because I swear, I literally wore half the things that Jacob Elordi's character in this film wore when I was in 2006. You know, you have the button-up shirt that's not very well ironed. You've got a bit of the baggier jeans. You've got some of the bracelets. Uh, I remember just thinking how cool like the eyebrow piercing was at that time. I know no one really does it anymore, but <laughs> spot on. The rugby shirts, you can get those at Old Navy. I have like a closet full of those still. It's just, it captures the vibe so well. And even the character of Oliver, because Barry Keoghan, who is the lead of this film, he does such an amazing job making you feel for this character. And you see yourself in different parts of the movie in Oliver. And even more so, you think that this family that is so twisted that he is visiting for the summer based on the facade that they have in front of them. You actually feel for them as well because they've inherited this life and you realize that they're good people, but they just have a lot of, <laughs> a lot of you know, whether it's daddy issues, whether it's self-doubt, whether it's self-esteem, it is an amazing, amazing time at the movie. One thing that I will say, the standout for me in this film is the relationship between Barry Keoghan and Jacob Elordi. Now, Barry Keoghan's like one of my favorite actors. I think he is such a shining star and he's got such an amazing way to go and I cannot wait to see all the cool things he does. He plays that kooky, strange character so well, almost too well, especially in this film. 
And I think his chemistry with Jacob Elordi, who plays Felix, by far my favorite character in the movie was Jacob Elordi's Felix because you see him and you look at him and you're like, this guy is, he looks like a billion dollars. He's a super attractive guy, but he's actually a very good person in the movie. He's like a very kind hearted person with a big heart who takes a liking to Barry Keoghan's character. And I just love that about that film because it could have gone the traditional route of the jock who's his bully, but this guy's got a lot of issues. The character of Felix, you know that he doesn't know who he truly is. He's trying to figure that all out. And yeah, I just love Jacob's performance in this movie. Now, I was always a fan of Jacob Elordi. I haven't seen him in too much myself personally, but I before, yeah, like I've seen a couple episodes here and there. And just some of the other movies he's done, I've seen clips of it. But I will truly say this when it comes to this film. Jacob Elordi, what he did as Felix in this film, is going to go down in history the same way Brad Pitt in Fight Club and Leo DiCaprio in Titanic did for both male and female in terms of how they all fall in love with this character. That's how well I think he portrayed the character of Felix. because. You're rooting for Felix. You want Felix to actually, you know, get his. And you want Felix to actually figure out his life the same way you want Oliver to figure out his. And uh, big shout out to Jacob Elordi for that. I do truly think that he's going to be one of the next big stars. And But as I mentioned, this is a thriller. And there's twists and turns in this movie that I never saw coming. Get ready for a wild ride because this movie is completely bonkers and that's why I love it so much because it's not a cookie cutter movie. A movie like this is a movie that deserves to be seen by all movie fanatics because I truly think that cinema like this is missing in today's you know, universe of movies and today's climate of how movies are made. I loved every second of this film. Now, while I say that, I do think the third act of this movie, it's not going to be for everyone. Because there is something that happens in the third act where it's like, whoa. They took this from like a 10 <laughs> to literally 100. And you're either going to like it or you're not. And I was in the, in the fence. I was in the middle. I was like, huh. They really went that route. <laughs> You'll know when you watch the movie what I mean. and. Just Barry Keoghan in this film. I can literally see Oscar nominations for so many characters in this movie. Barry Keoghan's a powerhouse of an actor. And what he does with this character of Oliver is just wow. So, end of the day, you guys know me. I don't rate films based on stars or numbers or anything of the sort. I'm a big believer in that art is in the eye of the beholder. Something that I may like, you may not. And something that you like, I may not. And you know what? That is the beauty of cinema because we all have different tastes, different opinions. I always kind of reference it back to the ice cream parlor, right? You may like chocolate, I may like vanilla. And there's nothing wrong with that. So my rankings as always is, is this a movie theater movie? A movie you would watch at home? as streaming or is this like a rainy day movie where you're not necessarily looking to watch it but if it comes on the channel as you're flipping you know through your remote you land on it and you watch it to me hands down saltburn is a movie that needs to be experienced on the biggest screen possible talking about the big screen possible it's got that amazing square aspect ratio and i think that brings so much more to the movie because you feel like you're part of that world of saltburn it is such a great decision to have this movie in that aspect ratio because it's different it's not something you see in films like this the last time i watched a movie in that aspect ratio is Zack snyder's justice league this movie needs to be experienced at the biggest screen possible because it's an experience for everyone inside the theater it truly is you're going to see people cringe. You're going to see people smile. You're going to hear laughter. You're going to hear disgust. You're going to hear even some tears in the audience. And that is what I love about the movie going experience. It's a shared 
environment in a movie theater where for two hours we can all just forget about outside life problems and just be in there together and enjoy this. So I recommend everyone to watch this movie in a movie theater because we need films like Saltburn to succeed. Because the more films like Saltburn succeed, the more studios are going to be wanting to give someone like Emerald Fennell the creative control to make a movie like this. And of course, produced by the very talented Margot Robbie as well. Gotta give her a shout out as well. I'm a big believer in giving everyone their flowers. So big shout out to Margot Robbie as well. We need movies like Saltburn to succeed. For that, we need you guys to go out and watch them in the movie theater because that's just advantageous for everyone. But hey, I also do think that when this movie does come out in streaming, this can be a great streaming movie to watch at home with your friends where you're all just sitting down and watching this crazy world of Saltburn and getting lost in it in the comfort of your own home. So it's hard for me to say more about this film than I already have because I loved this movie so much. It brought out passion and emotion in me that no other movie this year has. And I literally cannot wait to go back to the theater and watch this film again. And uh, big shout out to Barry Keoghan and big shout out to Jacob Elordi. The future of Hollywood is in good hands. That is one thing I will say. These next wave of actors that are coming in that are creating such amazing films and performances and are choosing such unique projects i'm so excited to see what's next for these characters and you're gonna love saltburn and i think that as i mentioned there's gonna be scenes in there that aren't for everyone but at the same time i truly think that you're gonna have a great time if you're looking for a unique and different experience than what most traditional holiday movies and hollywood movies truly are nowadays and there you have it. That is my review of Saltburn, my favorite film of the year and quite possibly one of my all-time favorite movies as well. That is just, I never thought I would say that for a movie that I watched out of a first viewing, but Saltburn, I can truly say, is going to be a movie that I'll watch over and over again and have a different experience every single time. So there you have it, guys. What did you think of Saltburn? Have you had a chance to watch it? What do you think about the trailers? What do you think about the cast? Comment right below and please do share your thoughts as I do love to hear what you all have to say. And as always, as I mentioned up top, I want to thank each and every one of you for making me a small part of your day. And please, if you get a moment, remember to like, share, subscribe, click on that little notification bell to get updated on all of my latest videos. And that was my review of the classic, Saltburn.